equipped. There's no second chance in here. If you get inside Boss Bass's mouth, that's it. The end. Good game. Imagine all of the crazy meme levels you could create with the new water mechanic combined with the Boss Bass. These two just go hand in hand. The original Super Mario Maker has rails. And while it's super cool that you can add pretty much everything on a rail, the original rail enemy is missing from the game and I named the Fuzzy. These little creatures just like to move on rails and sometimes even jump from one to another. These guys can also be frozen and turned into blocks, making them platforms on rails, which is kinda cool. And if you watched my previous video about the 10 power-ups I'd like to see in Mario Maker 2, having the ability to finally use ice balls combined with the arrival of those fuzzies would be a great addition to create more crazy levels. I mean, imagine a vertical level where you need to turn fuzzies into ice blocks in order to wall jump to the next part. That would be pretty intense, wouldn't it? Now let's talk about an enemy that has been alongside Mario since the very beginning, the Bullet Bill. It has been there from the start and has appeared in pretty much every Mario game ever. But in the very first level of Super Mario World, a new type of bullet bill was introduced. A bigger, meaner one, and I named the Banzai Bill. Considering you could make pretty much anything big in the original Super Mario Maker, it is kinda weird to think that you couldn't do the same with a bullet bill. So it's pretty simple really. Add a mushroom to a cannabis that needs to be added to the game at some point. Hey, I'm Nico, and here's 10 enemies I want in Super Mario Maker 2. In the original Super Mario Maker, you could either have levels without water or level underwater. There was like no in between, it was all or nothing. And from what we've seen of this scene in the new trailer, we now know we'll be able to combine both and have water in non-underwater levels. And if we're having that, you know which enemy we need. Probably the most annoying fish ever, the Boss Bass is a fish that swims super fast left and right and jumps from time to time to try to eat you alive. And I really mean eat you whole. It doesn't matter what power up you have here for the sequel we got last month was pretty short, but it was packed with hidden details. We gotta see new platforms, a brand new game to use to design our levels, and even a couple of new enemies like the infamous Evil Sun from Super Mario Bros. 3. And this made me realize, there's actually a lot of enemies I'd like to be able to place in my levels to make them better or more difficult. And I came up with a plan and it shall become a bigger one shooting Banzai Bills. Come on Nintendo, I'm sure we can make this work, right? Oh, and while we're at it, what if we added a mushroom to the Banzai Bill cannons to turn them into King Bills? That would be even better. I mean, look at those. They are humongous and they break everything in their path. I actually want all of the Bullet Bill variation. Can we make it happen, Nintendo? So here's the thing, I want new themes to be added in Super Mario Maker 2, and I'd love to see a volcano theme being added. I mean after all, pretty much every Mario game includes a lava world as the last level of them all. And if we add a volcano slash lava world, we have to have some hot enemies to add to it. Well Nintendo has a very simple one that fits all of those criteria. The fire snake is a snake, well, made out of fire. This snake, first introduced in Super Mario Bros. 3, just bounces left and right and follows Mario to try to make him the greatest enemy ever created in a Mario game, as they can do tons of different things. So the way it could work in Mario Maker is that when placing them, you gotta choose which attack they perform, meaning you could have a Mario level with tons of charging chucks, but they'd all be doing something different. That would be so intense. <laughs> I'm not gonna beat around the bushes for this one. I want spikes to be in Super Mario Maker 2. These guys are phenomenal. They have big spiky balls inside of their bodies and they just literally puke them out into their hands and throw them at you? How cool is that? 
gross but cool! Plus, now that Super Mario Maker 2 has slopes, it's the perfect time to introduce an enemy that can actually interact with those slopes. The balls that Spike Spuke could gain speed as they go down the slope, giving you the opportunity to create an Indiana Jones inspired level where you'd have to run super fast from the spike ball before you get crushed to death. Oh, and we could also have those blue spikes dudes, you know, those who just stand around on a platform puking their spiky balls under them? That would be so cool. I mean, come on, if Spike is cool enough to be in the latest Mario Tennis game, they have to be cool enough to be in Mario Maker, right? <laughs> One of the saddest thing in Super Mario Maker was the lack of bosses. Basically, you had to choose in between Bowser or Bowser Jr. Sure, you could make them bigger, you could stack them on top of each other, you could give them wings and whatever, but I mean, I'd like to have more choices. Now that we've seen that Boom Boom will be part of the new game, I'd actually like to add the Koopalings to the mix. After all, they were in Super Mario Bros 3, Super Mario World, New Super Mario Bros, so you know, I think they deserve a place in the roster of Mario Maker. I'd also love for them to have their different abilities and weapons they're known for. The hammers, the magic wands, whatever. It's time to get more bosses, and the Koopalings seem just fitting for that job. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys, make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any video I make and give a like if you enjoyed the video. If you want your name in the credit like those guys right there, consider joining the BBQ team, it helps support the show and allows me to make these videos every week. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Roasted Chicken now I can only imagine having a level featuring traps that release those lava snakes if you get tricked. Imagine, the level starts off easy, but for every mistake you make, more fire snakes starts appearing and following you. That'd be pretty epic. The ghost houses do not feature a whole lot of enemies to choose from. You pretty much have to choose in between booze or dry bones. I think it's time we add one more spooky enemy and I name the Bruiser. This ghost with legs, first introduced in New Super Mario Bros for the DS, is a really cool enemy. Basically, it's a scary ghost that has boxing gloves and is running after Mario trying to punch him to the death. But that's not the reason why this enemy should be in in Mario Maker 2. Now here's the thing, this enemy is pretty strong and he can punch the blocks in his path to break them. So here's my idea, you could create some sort of level where you have two separate floors and you'd have to lure the bruiser into punching the bricks above you so that you can pass through once you go up one floor. I think that'd be a pretty interesting concept. And imagine being able to add wings to a bruiser. This way he would fly around punching anything in his sight. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Can you believe there wasn't a desert theme in Super Mario Maker? Me neither, but now as we have seen from the new trailer, this mistake has been fixed. But now something else has to be done. We need Pokies, Nintendo, come on! This enemy type is a classic and will always be. I would love to be able to place them and choose their height, finally giving me the opportunity to create a world where Pokies are the only thing standing between you and the flagpole. And you know what? Pokies have evolved throughout the years, and as we've seen in New Super Mario Bros U, they are able to cling onto ceilings now. So I don't know how Nintendo would achieve that in Super Mario Maker, but that'd be pretty sick. If I say annoying enemy in Mario games, what comes into your mind? Well for me, it's the Hammer Bros. These guys have been annoying from the very start and they remain annoying even today. The thing is, over the years, these guys have evolved and learned to use new tools. So I'd like to see the Fire Bros and the Boomerang Bros in Super Mario Maker 2. These guys are actually just like their hammer friend, except they throw fireballs for the fire bro and boomerangs for the boomerang bro. Duh. Now imagine a level combining all of the different bros. This would be very deadly. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Breaking news. I just realized that fire bros are actually confirmed to be in Super Mario Maker 2, as you can see them in that corner during the trailer. Woo! Now I just need the boomerang bro. 
This next enemy comes right out of Super Mario World. It's an enemy that has many forms and many means of attack. Obviously, I'm talking about the Charge and Chuck. Those guys are Koopas wearing a full football armor and helmet to protect them. They can attack by running at you, they can kick footballs, they can throw baseballs, they can jump and clap, they can dig out boulders to try to murder you, they can bounce super high like frogs, and they can even wake up fishes underwater by whistling. So as you can see, they're probably the smart couple of months we will be playing the sequel to the best official Mario creation tool we have our hands on right now, Super Mario Maker. The